Hello, my name is Colin Reddington, and this is the latest in my series of videos called Isle of Dogs on Access. And today I'm going to talk to you about the built in access date picker control and a better alternative to that. Now I have a simple form here with four different text boxes, each of which I'm going to use to enter dates. And the four text boxes then, the first two use the access date control and the second two use my better date picker. And if I go to design view you can see the first field there is a bound field, a date field, second one's unbound, similarly for the other two they're bound and unbound here. And if we now return to form view now the date picker control was first introduced with Access 2010 and it was done because the old calendar control, an old ActiveX control, was 32-bit only and Access 2010 was the first version which allowed a 64-bit option so they needed to find a different alternative and the date picker control was the alternative they came up with and at first sight it works perfectly well. So we have a control here, we click in that and then a little calendar icon appears at the side. We then click on that, so that's two clicks so far. It will default to today's date, 24th of May. You can either click on that or we can click today or we can change that to any other date, 19th of May 2022. Once we've done that we can then change that to any other date with one, one click there. I'm going to get another click on the form there, so that's two clicks. But remember, if that wasn't there in the first place, just come out of that. One, two, three clicks just to get a date. We could, of course, enter it manually. But if we enter it manually, we have all the risks where we've got an illegal date being done, entered there. Now, let's say we want to enter somebody's date of birth. And they're born in, let's say, 1985. Well, let's see the next problem here. Go to this and we can change months easily enough but only one at a time. You can imagine how long that's going to take to get to 1985. Hundreds and hundreds of clicks there. I'm not going to go through all that now. It's very very tedious. There is no way of, auto of simply changing the, d the year on its own. And now let's see what happens with an unbound control. Now with an unbound control, unless we actually set it up so it is designed to show dates only, Access doesn't know that it's going to have a date and therefore it doesn't actually show the date picker at all. I'll enter a text if I want it to. Even if I start entering a date, no time does the date picker appear. Let's go to design view. In design view then I've got several op options here. Format, if I change that to one of the date settings here, now then the show date picker control will start to work properly. And we've got two options for this. Four dates, which it now will be, never. What it doesn't allow you to do is to put it to always, so it always is there and save one click. Anyway, if we now save that, come out of it, click on there, a date picker appears and as before we can enter a date and it's fairly quick to do that but again it's the same problem if you want to change the year. So let's give you a better alternative and if we click on this then immediately one click the, the calendar control appears. It's larger, it's more colourful, it's easier to see particularly for those people whose eyesight is less than perfect. You've got a drop down for the months you can also change the months by clicking the plus and minus buttons here. You can change the year by clicking the plus or minus buttons. But you can also, if you want to, just type in a date. 1976, July the 14th. And there we've got somebody's date of birth. And you notice also Right, it said select date of birth on the top there. Let's now go to an unbound control. Click in here. Again, I've set it up so it actually shows you exactly what we want it to do, which is show the calendar control. And you notice I've got a different bit of text there. Hello world is what I've entered at the moment there. And I can select any date I want to. So how does this work? Well, let's just change this. Design view. 
and let's go to this one there is an event and when I click on that the code there you can see one line of, of code input date field into the text date control and I've told it to say hello world and you can type anything you like in there in English or any other language you can put in incorrect spelling if you want to but I didn't intend to do that and now if we come out of that into leaving date appears there whatever text I want to will appear there and this one then which said to select date of birth why did it say that because in the event control for that in the event procedure for that one that was the text we said to put there now the input date field here the code for that is part of a module which you just import and that then basically tells it to prompt you to send to the value that you've done there and to show a dialog there. I'm not going to go through all the code there but it's a fairly simple bit of code there except that within the form itself there is an awful lot more code which I won't go through now basically it works but it has a different control different bit of code for every single day control on there all very very tedious and repetitive but it works um, now one more thing I want to show you and that is what if we want to change the language now at the moment I've got English United Kingdom so it's day month year format let's change to English United States and you can see it says some apps may need to be closed and reopened to see the formatting changes now United States has the format there oops English world again by mistake month day year so let us now close that reopen and you'll notice it's changed the format on both those controls there and on the date picker it's also changed that automatically as well let's change it to a different language here instead of that we'll have Italian and it's back to month day year again and you'll notice now then we've got the months in Italian and also the abbreviations of the days are in Italian as well just the same as they are by the way on the default date picker no difference except they use two letters rather than three let's change language again this time we'll change to Greek and with the Greek version there they do have a single number there for the month symbol there sorry for the month there so five rather than 05 and if we now quit and come back in and you can see it's changed that automatically and it's also changed to Greek lettering as well let's just come out of that again okay I'm going to show you one more language and we'll just come out of the app completely here and this time let's change it from Greek which had the day month year format with just a single number for the month and I'll use Japanese for the final example and Japanese of course we use a different script for the text part of the form here and also the date format is year month day completely different to the ones we've had before so change that then and if we just get rid of that again go back into the app and you will see the dates that were already in there have been changed to the year month day format in both cases here and if you click on the form then you can see the days symbols now are using Japanese script and the months is a different format they use one month two month three months four month five month for May six month for June through to 12 month for December and exactly of course the same 
for the standard date picker control except there right we've still got to do the scrolling through okay that's it for today if you're interested enough in wanting to download the better date picker click on isleofdogs.co.uk better date picker and it will take you to this page and you will then see some information about the better date picker how you use that and also various different versions available for download for free donations are always welcome of course and if we come out of that then and finally for today then thanks of course for watching if you found it useful please add a like and leave a comment on the YouTube page suggest any topics for future videos in the series I'll always be grateful for any ideas and finally please do subscribe you'll be notified whenever new videos are uploaded thanks again I'll see you soon